So how it's all begun was um, I was cycling one afternoon. It was a really nice day. Um, just I was really enjoying it. But then all of a sudden I saw this chair in the front of the, in in the road right in front of me. So then I thought to myself, uh, hmm, that's weird. I don't know why anyone would just leave a chair out in the middle of the road for it to get run over. So I just cycled past it, didn't really think much of it. Um, so then I got back home into my drive. But then I noticed that there was a, another chair in the tree right next to me. And that was strange. Um, so I went, up to, I went up to investigate it when I heard the sound of another chair falling into a tree on the other side of the garden. So I went up to investigate that one. But then all of a sudden the, the chair came and jumped out of the tree and attacked me. So then I managed to shake it off and run back into the house. Uh, and lock it out. And then I haven't been outside since then. Over the next couple of days, um, just more and more chairs came into the garden and they were surrounding the house. At this point I was wondering, is this happening to other people around me? Or is this just something that's happening near me? So uh, I was, I turned on the news and then I saw this. As the killer chairs continue to besiege the country, here at this outdoor military testing facility, attempts are being made to discover the chairs' weaknesses. No major breakthroughs have yet been made. So after watching the news, I then realised, yeah, this is happening all, all over the place, not just here. So I basically just stayed indoors, didn't do much at all. Uh, watch, uh, there was still a lot of chairs around the place. Over the next few days, uh, more and more came in, and at this point they're trying to come in through the window and stuff now. They're trying to get into the house. So then after that, I started hearing stories of a bunch of accidents happening. Ah! So I don't really know what's going to happen next. 